And today I'm going to go over type on a path tool. And this is a pretty short little video tu tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. So go ahead and go open up Adobe Illustrator. I have CS5 open, but you can use CS2, CS3, CS4, other versions work as well with this. And go ahead and choose the pen tool. And I have another tutorial on that, so check that one out if you want a little bit more information about the pen tool. But um, just pretty quickly, just click and let go, then click and let go and drag, and then click again and drag. And we'll just make kind of a wave here. All right. Now on the text tool, click and hold onto it and go to type on a path tool. It's the third one down when you click and hold. And if you hover over right above it, you'll notice it turn, it uh, changes a little bit the cursor when you go right over the path here. So I'll go ahead and click and the fill in the stroke of that uh, path disappears and we just have some text here. So I'll just type in photo, let's see, maybe Photoshop tutorials and tips.com. You type in whatever. You do control A, uh, command A on the Mac, control A on the PC. That will select it all or you can click and drag over it. And you can change up here on the, pal the uh, control palette. If you don't have that open, go to Window, then Control. And you can change the font size as well, and the font style and all that. And you can, of course, press space bars and push it around. And let's change the font here. Let's choose something random. OK. And what's pretty neat is you can click the direct selection tool, the white arrow, and click and drag just near the beginning, and it pushes where this text begins. OK, you can just grab it there. Um, and you can also, even after you've created this shape, I mean this uh, path here, which doesn't show up if you print or if you save it, for example, and place it into Photoshop to save as a JPEG for a website, um, it's, it's not going to show this path here. But you can click this path, move it around a course, or you can click off and click on here and you can adjust the path even after you've dr uh, drawn it to begin with. So just like this right here. You can adjust it. You can also click on the anchor points and just adjust them as well, even after you've initially drawn the path. Another way to do this, if you click and hold onto the rectangle tool and go to ellipse tool, now click and drag and hold shift to maintain that proportion for a circle. And this is also a path, of course. So click and hold and go to type in a path. And you can just click anywhere here along the edge, type in type on a circle. Uh, this is something often used in advertisements and whatnot. And you can also uh, do the same thing here. You can, of course, add spaces or whatever, or you can use the white arrow and move it over. It can go all the way upside down. And different settings there. And just make sure the font matches you know, the theme of the advertisement or whatever your decorating for and designing the shape for. You can also, of course, stretch it out and uh, make it larger, smaller, even after you've drawn it. Now, if you select it with the black arrow, the selection tool, you can drag around the entire shape. You can also use the white arrow and just click on this right over here. See how that little uh, point sticking out there? And if I drag it in here, you can actually type on the inside of a circle like this. So if I drag it in. So then you have type on the inside of the path instead of the outside going around. And if you wanted one on the outside, one on the end, you could just make two circles or you could actually alt click this on Mac. It'd be option click it and that just duplicates it. And you could adjust that however you need be. And you could do that again, or, or like this, or even all the way inside, or on top, you know, whichever. And then you could just put them on top, just like that. You know, depending on what kind of look you're uh, going for, this is how to 
create type on a path.